Texas Panhandle, west of Amarillo. And uh, we're traveling on the famous Route 66. You know, what's left of it, which is now Interstate Route 40. And it's just very flat country. I guess this is what they call the prairie. Uh, very windy. Very flat. You can see kind of why it's tornado country, I suppose. Uh, I guess they come whipping through here and there's nothing to stop them. Past a big factory farm cattle operation a little bit back. It just, it must be thousands of head of cattle just in these uh, big pens. Uh, the, the manure and the stench was just unbelievable. So folks, that's where your beef comes from these days. Lots of trucks on uh, this whole route. Yesterday I saw more trucks than cars by far. Uh, stopped at the famous Cadillac Ranch right outside Amarillo. Uh, Ten 50s vintage Cadillacs buried Hood first in the car, in the dirt. Oh, looks like cops after someone. Went right through the median. <laughs> Holy cow! Um, but the Cadillac Ranch was interesting. These vintage Cadillacs covered with graffiti, and uh, I got some good pictures of those, which I'll post. But we're headed to a place called Tucumcari, New Mexico. Just a bunch of vintage Route 66 uh, places. So that's going to be uh, an interesting stop. So we'll get some more video and pictures there. We're in eastern New Mexico coming up on a place called Tucumcari. We're still on Route 66. Uh, there's a bunch of classic Route 66 places in Tucumcari. You can see the change in the terrain, especially from yesterday morning, coming into Oklahoma there. You begin to really get the, the mesas and uh, rock formations and things that are classic to the to southwest, to New Mexico and Arizona. So what make New Mexico so kind of magical? We've been gaining an altitude just constantly. Uh, since leaving Oklahoma City, so like all the hills go up and not down. Santa Fe is at an elevation of 7,000 feet above sea level. So we've just been climbing gradually, gradually uh, for a day and a half. stuff on. We've got some good pictures. We're headed towards Santa Rosa now on Interstate 40. Beginning to climb uh, a little more seriously. Uh, definitely a uh, steeper ascent. The uh, scenery is getting better and better as we go and will. Uh, it's, it's spectacular out here in New Mexico. But even if you look ahead on the road, if you see out there, you can see there's another hill up ahead. After that would be another one and another one. You just keep climbing. Speed limit here, as you can see from the sign, is 75. Definitely make some time at the West. 
western states. But again, you know, not much in the way of guardrails, mediums, anything like that. They have a serious problem here in New Mexico, drunk driving. You see signs everywhere, report drunk drivers. Still going through uh, New Mexico, headed to Route 84. And I, I noticed looking at these clouds, uh, look how low they are. Well, I guess this isn't so much clouds low, we're getting high. And I'm now driving north on uh, Route 84 in New Mexico. I'm headed to Las Vegas. I'm 92 miles from Santa Fe. Las Vegas, New Mexico is an interesting little town that's you know, quite unlike the famous namesake in uh, Nevada. I think there'd be any slot machines there. You can see some of the beautiful scenery up ahead. We're really beginning to get into the New Mexico train begin to see the mountains off in the distance. Got all these uh, kind of scrub trees that are in the desert here. We, we are in the desert now. You can't see anything from just miles and miles and miles. It's all open space, it's just wonderful. Now and then a car passes. How many roads do you see like this where there's no vehicle anywhere in the distance? Get to get a feeling why this is called the Land of Enchantment. 